Welcome to the Teleblog channel. We all know well that our favorite messenger is one of the safest in the world, and beyond that, it's also one of the most advanced among a plethora of messaging apps. In my previous videos, you can find some useful info about Telegram's features, life hacks, and other benefits. Definitely check them out. And today's video is about sometimes too simple but obvious things, but I feel like absolutely every Telegram user should know them. So get ready, it'll be fun! Did you know that your Telegram account can automatically delete itself sooner or later? On one condition though, if you haven't used it for a certain period of time. The period by default is 6 months. If you don't come online for that period, prepare to have it deleted, along with all the messages and contacts. I mean, of course, this is not unique, but recently there have been situations where people lost extremely valuable information because they weren't active in the messenger for a month or so. To control this feature, you have to do the following. Go to settings, privacy and security and find automatically delete my account. You can choose from one month to one year, so be careful with setting this option. In the modern world, you sometimes have to have multiple accounts for different kinds of activities – your hobby, your job, etc. Many people who run their own businesses may find it useful to have a separate account to solve all business issues. It's like a phone number, one for personal use and one for work. In Telegram, anyone could add several accounts for different purposes. You can also switch between them in just two taps. This is incredibly convenient, because in this way you can organize the working space in such a way that chats from your friends and acquaintances will not interfere with communication with your colleagues at work. To switch between the accounts or add a new account on iOS, you just need to press and hold settings where the user pick is also displayed. On Android, just tap on the three lines at the top of the screen, then choose whether you want another account or add a new one. I also want to point out that, like in most messengers, in Telegram you can register only one phone number. On the one hand, it's annoying, but on the other, imagine the speed with which an infinite number of fakes, bots and fraudsters would emerge if you could register by email, for instance. However, they will always find ways. By the way, I want your opinion as well. Would it be cool if you could sign up for Telegram by email? Leave your comments below the video and tell me what you think. You can find various applications to use Telegram. Very often these apps can steal your data and get a virus on your phone. I mean, it happened a few times when Play Market had to remove similar malware and deceptive alternative apps based on Telegram. So be careful, they're often created by thieves and crooks. Before you download this kind of application, check it, read the reviews or better visit the official Telegram website. It has all the existing apps that don't pose any threat. I'm sure you've heard of Telegram's two-step verification, but I'd like to go into more detail here. If you use it, you can make your messenger even more safe. The official name of the feature is Cloud Password. Thanks to it, when signing in a new device, Telegram will request not only a code, but also a password. To set it, do the following. Go to Settings, Privacy and choose Cloud Password. Click Set Password and enter the combination. Click Next, repeat, then add a clue if you want, and here comes an important moment – your email. It's essential to have access to it because, first, you will be sent an email with the code to complete the two-step verification. And second, if you need to restore access in case you forget your password, you're gonna need your email too. But that would be it. Two-step verification is enabled. Now, if somebody tries to sign into your account on a new device, Telegram will send a code and then also require the password that you indicated. And only then will you be able to access your account. By the way, since I've mentioned these codes so many times, I wanna point out that when you try to log into your Telegram account on another device, basically, you will always get a confirmation code for verification on your primary device. The convenience of this code is that you gotta have access to a device where the code was sent to, and you don't need any SIM cards. With other messengers, for example, such passwords are sent via SMS, which I don't find convenient at all. And let me remind you that if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, it's high time to do it and click the bell to get new videos first. 
Secret chats are designed for people who want all messages in secret chats use end-to-end -end encryption. This means that only you and the other person will be able to read the texts. No one can intercept or decrypt them, including Telegram staff. Another difference between secret and regular chats is that they are not stored on messenger servers. All undelivered messages can only be read on your device. The main advantages of secret chats are self-destruct timer. You can set the time after which the messages or the entire chat will be deleted. When the timer goes off, texts disappear on both devices. Synchronized delete. If you delete a message or a picture from your chat, you can choose to automatically delete it from the other person chat. No forwarding. You cannot forward a message from a secret chat. Screenshot alerts. If the other person takes a screenshot while texting, you will get notified immediately. But it's not that simple. Unfortunately, there is no 100% reliable way to prevent screenshots, especially on Android and Windows devices. And even if there was, there is nothing to stop someone from taking a picture of the screen with a regular camera or another smartphone. One more feature is creating an unlimited number of secret chats. They are distinguished by green light and a closed lock icon. And the last but not least is that you cannot access data from secret chats via web interface. You can only do it from your phone. Creating a secret chat is also very simple. Tap the contact's name from the top of a conversation to get started. Here, tap the More button. From the pop-up, select Start Secret Chat option. Now you just have to wait for the other person to get online and approve your invitation. Once that happens, you'll get notified. That's pretty much it. You've successfully created a secret chat and now you can enjoy all the things I mentioned before. And now, my dear viewer, please share in the comments if you found this video useful or maybe there is something you want me to talk about in our next videos. Hit the like button as your support encourages me to make even more content. That's all I have. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.